they said it couldn't be done. Even Germany's top spies laughed at the idea an airplane made of 1.5 million parts, built faster than a man could eat lunch. But in the heart of Michigan, Henry Ford was about to prove them wrong. At Willow Run, the assembly lines that once built cars began to build B-24 Liberator bombers, the same precision that made Model T's now forged machines of war. Thousands of men and women, farmers, housewives, teenagers, worked shoulder to shoulder, turning raw aluminum into the wings of freedom. Day and night, the line never stopped. Engines roared, rivet guns screamed, and the air filled with the thunder of progress. Each worker mastered a single motion, and together, they created a miracle. By 1944, a brand new bomber rolled off the line every 63 minutes. Every hour, another fortress took to the skies. German intelligence refused to believe it. How could a nation of civilians outbuild an empire of soldiers? But Ford's factory wasn't just making planes. It was making a statement. You can't outfight American industry. When those bombers darkened the European sky, the spies' reports came true. And the world finally understood this wasn't just a war of weapons. It was a war of will.